Tom in Lake Egypt, Illinois, writes to me, Hey, Paul, thanks for your videos. Well, you are welcome, sir. I have transitioned from a casual listener to a discerning audiophile. I like it. I'm saving up and hopefully one day will own your products. In the meantime, I'm taking baby steps on my journey. I, I think I would think that's a really good way to go about it. Take your time, take those little baby steps. I recently purchased the Emotiva XPA DR2 amplifier rated at 550 watts per channel, playing through KLH Model 5 speakers. The combination sounds amazing. Yes, good job. Instead of a usual toroidal transformer, the amp uses a switch mode power supply. Can you explain this technology and any pros and cons I can expect? Thanks for your videos. Sure. I, uh, well, first off, let's remember what we, we have. Um, here's one right here. And they are heavy. So this is a toroidal transformer. And it's got a little rubber thing here. It's lots of winds of copper wire and around going this way are winds of steel. So, which are in, in another kind of transformer called an EI, those are laminations. But the combination of steel with copper wire wrapped around it becomes this transformer. And we have the input and we have the output. And it magnetically couples through two coils of wire. That's what this copper is. There are separate coils, an input coil and an output coil. And they magnetically couple uh, and, and pass the electricity from the wall over to your equipment. And in so doing, we can say, well, I have 110 volts in and I want 50 volts out or I want 30 volts out. And then it's just the ratio of turns of these copper wires that determine that. Okay. That's a toroidal transformer, which is just a type of power transformer. And it keeps us safe. It keeps us from being directly connected into the wall. A switch mode power supply uses the very same thing, toroidal transformers, except instead of a big one like that, they're very small. And they're very efficient. So how do they do that? Well, they switch the 60 cycles or the 50 cycles, depending on where you live, as, as we remember, the sine wave's going up and down, up and down 50 or 60 times a second out of the wall, right? So they have a circuit on front that chops up this thing. It, it, it's boom, 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 boom. It just takes little snips of that rising and falling waveform, chops it up into a very high frequency, usually 100,000 times a second, right? Now, with that chopped up AC waveform, because it's running at a high frequency, we can put it through a very small transformer. These transformers are, remember what I just showed you here, this works, we buy all our transformers to work at 50 hertz. It's more efficient at 60 hertz, higher frequency, and even more efficient at 100, but you, you don't have that, right? So we buy all our transformers for the lower frequency. Well. <clears throat> if what was coming out of the wall was 100,000 times a second, which it isn't, then we could have little tiny transformers delivering all this power. That's what this switch mode power supply does. It takes and chops up, makes it into a very uh, a, a high frequency, <coughs> goodness, a very high frequency signal, puts it through a small transformer, then it goes through your standard diode bridge, capacitors, and all of that, and a regulator, out you go. And that's basically what a switch mode power supply is. The reason that they do that is it's very efficient. It usually doesn't care whether you have 220 volts or 120, which is called a universal power supply, so that we can just plug it into anything and it just works. They're very efficient. They don't have so much material in them. and properly designed, I think they're great, in many cases, better than your standard toroidal transformer. At some point, PS Audio will also transition into using switch mode power supplies for our equipment. We just haven't done it yet because 
so far the transition between how it sounds with your standard toroid as opposed to the switch mode hasn't quite lived up to our standards sonically. But as soon as it does, and it's getting close, we'll switch right over too, because it's a better technology. You just got, there's just a lot to it to make it sound good still. All right? I hope that helps. <laughs> Thanks.